Hi, and welcome to Delphi's how-to video series. My name is Philip Mitchell, and I'm a service operations engineer here at Delphi. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Delphi False Actuator Kit. This time-saving kit helps you diagnose actuator and mechanical faults. One of the most common causes of pressure reduction in the system is a faulty common rail pump. This kit will help you isolate whether it's the common rail pump at fault or the inlet metering valve. This kit should be used in conjunction with the Delphi sealed rail kit, which in our case is already fitted to the engine. Don't forget, always work in a clean, safe environment. And don't forget your PPE. In our case, it's gloves and goggles. Before starting, ensure the injectors are disconnected as they have been here. This is to prevent the engine from starting. Be sure to disconnect the inlet metering valve. If this is a Renner, Citroen or Suzuki application, then we would need to fit the dummy inlet metering valve supplied in the sealed rail kit. Be sure to activate the test and starter motor at the same time. The minimum cranking for this test is at 200 RPM for five seconds. Once the test is complete, the display will give you the pressure reading. If on a Delphi system, this is less than 1050 bar, we can go ahead and use the false actuator kit to further diagnose the fault. To use the false actuator kit, I need to remove the IMV fitted into the pump. To do this, I first need to remove the sealed rail to gain access. Next, choose the appropriate false actuator from the kit and fit it inside the pump. When doing up the inlet metering valve bolts, ensure they are torqued up to the correct manufacturer's specification. Once the dummy actuator is fitted, we can now refit the sealed rail. Now we can carry out the test again comparing the pressure reading on the gauge to the test before. Remember, 200 RPM or minimum for a valid test. Always ensure that you operate the starter motor and the test at the same time. As you can see, the pressure displayed on the screen was 1,075 bar. This is within Delphi specification. This proves that the pump is mechanically sound and the IMV requires replacement. If the pressure display had not changed from the previous result, then this would prove that the mechanical pump was faulty and required repair or replacement. Now that test is complete, be sure to replace any high pressure pipes with replacement components. Once complete, make sure all equipment is cleaned and stored correctly. And that's it. That's how you use the Delphi False Actuator Kit. Remember, the False Actuator Kit should be used in conjunction with the Delphi Sealed Rail Kit. For more information and videos, then go to DelphiAutoParts.com. Thank you for watching.